let you go. You are the expert, undoubtedly. What else do we need to know? Because something that struck my attention is that you said you could be viewing something in this eclipse for the first time you haven't seen. And you, you're Bill Nye, the science guy. So what do we need to oh, know here? So something I must have seen but didn't really absorb last time. I was in, we were in Nebraska where there's a, a national park that was right in the path. It was really good. That was two things, uh, something that I must have happened that I didn't see. So just in your mind's head, one disc is going in front of the other. The moon's in front of the sun, the earth is spinning, the moon is moving, the sun is in the middle of everything. There are pictures very well, very all over the internet from NASA where you see, instead of seeing one edge of the sun, you see two, it looks like two distinct sunbeams. And that's because of craters and mountains on the moon. In other words, there's a moment during this total eclipse where sunlight was going through a valley on the moon. I mean, how cool is that? And I must have seen it, but I was just, whoa, it's an eclipse. I didn't quite absorb it. So I'm going to be watching for that this time. Uh, imagine that, you guys, where the, the valleys on the moon the mountains on the moon are so big. How big are they? They're so big that you can see them from the earth during a total eclipse, if you're wearing the proper glasses. So, um, so I'm looking forward to that. And there'll be something else I didn't anticipate. Looking forward to that too. Well, we are looking forward to viewing the total eclipse, hearing your, uh, hearing how it went for you, hearing your experience. Bill Nye, thank you so much for the insight as we look forward to this event.